Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Now in this video, I'm going to install tow hitch wiring so that your car would uh, operate the trailer lights. It's a pretty basic uh, process, so let's get started. Most of your tow hitch wiring harnesses come with a converter. And basically, what you want to do is, you want to install one with a converter because you do not want to just piggyback off of your electrical system. And what this converter does is, it takes the direct power that you give it, and then the wires that you connect to your uh, lighting system at the rear of the car, it uses signals from those wires. It doesn't drain power to operate the light. It just takes a signal from them, take them into this converter, and then the power that you supplied will then power the lights to the trailer so that you don't have any uh, overload on your lighting system on your vehicle. So the process is get you a converter, a system that has the box in there that takes the signals and directs the power. You power a main power source from the car somewhere that's only activated when you turn the car on doesn't really matter but when you turn the car on you want a hot you run that hot back to where your uh, electrical converter will be and then you connect your converter to the proper light signals that you uh, determine from function in the car so let's go ahead and get started So I open the back of the vehicle, I access the back of the vehicle, and it appears that this vehicle already has 12 volts coming back here. So I'm going to check this outlet here and see if this is a 12 volt power coming back here with my own meter. And if it is, I'll uh, piggyback off of that to run my uh, tail light harness because that should not be an issue. When I follow a few wires, I do see that there are foreign wires coming back here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this little panel off, which on this car, it's right here. Work this out. And then I'm going to get my own meter and see uh, which one of those, if any, is a live 12 volt. Well, I'm not getting any 12 volt reading from any of these wires here. So I'm going to track them to see where they're going. And if they're valuable, I'm going to go ahead and hook them up to 12 volts. Okay, all of these wires and connections back here to this outlet is dead. Kind of like a bridge to nowhere. So I'm going to find me a wire, run it back here, and get this rolling. I see an orphan wire in the engine compartment. So I'm going to see where that goes and maybe use it if it goes back toward the back of the car. Okay, so I came up to my fuse box. I have two accessories, number four, number 36, are not being used. So when I put uh, the tester on them, number four is hot when the key is in the run position. Number 36 is hot when the key is in the accessory position. Neither one of them are hot when the key's off. So I'm going to bump my wire off of number 36 fuse so it comes on when the key's in the accessory position. Okay, so I took that orphan wire, I put a fuse on it, I ran it down through the panel, and it's going through to the interior. I picked it up under the dash in the interior, run it under the carpet, and along this beam. So now it's there, I'm going to keep running it along back to the back of the car. Okay, this is my power line, and I got it hooked up to the power line with my adapter here. Now I need to piggyback my other three. So I got my ground, which is white. I hooked it up to the ground, to the vehicle. Now I need my tail light, which is my parking light. I need my left turn, 
which is yellow. Uh, orange is goes to the stop. And then this green goes over to the right turn. So what I need to do is tap into this wires here that has all of my lights and sample them. So I'll go and I'll put a little cut in the wire or a little hole in there and I'll go up front, turn on my flashers, hit my brake lights, turn on my parking lights and hit those to the ground and see what's happening when. So the first thing I'm going to do is my parking lights and I'm going to see which light that is. Now what some people do is they drive a needle through the wire and test it with a little hole but I'm going to put a little cut in there with a razor and stick my tester in there. Okay, I took a broom stick handle or a long umbrella. I wedged the seat against the brake to get the brake light on. I come back here and see where my brake light is. It was right here. So I come inside there and I look at the wire and I poke a hole in that yellow wire there. If that'll come in focus. And then I put my ohm meter on it and sure enough, that yellow wire did test for the brake lights. So I take my red wire here and I jump it onto that purple and yellow wire. All right, these connectors are not the best in the world to use, but they are convenient and they work. So what you do is you put the one wire through the one hole that's going to jump onto the other wire that you run through it. So there it is there. I clipped it on the wire. I squoze the metal tip through and I swung the clamp around so my brake wire should be good. So let me go ahead and figure out the turn signals and then the parking lights. Okay, I put my parking light switch on. I come back here and both of these lights are my parking light. So I'm going to go ahead and test a couple of wires in that lower harness and see which one I need to connect my brown wire to. Okay, right now I'm poked through my green and yellow wire. I got my instrument grounded and I have 12 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my wire off my green and yellow, see if it drops off. And it does. So that's where I need to hook my brown wire up to. Okay, my next one is my yellow one, which is my left turn. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on, put the turn signal on, and see where my light's going to flash at. Okay, my light is flashing up top, so it's going to be that top harness. Let me test the wire and see which one is going to give me some flash in 12 volts. Okay, my little meter is flickering like that, and it is hooked up to this solid green wire. So I'm going to go ahead and bump my yellow up to that solid green. Another option on figuring out what wire goes to which one is to simply back probe the uh, socket like you see there. And then when I come down here, I can see that I have a right turn signal. So I just follow that color wire and splice into it. Okay, I spliced into that right turn signal. And then I'm going to run the wire under the trim here. I probably could have found that wire and tap it into this harness over on this side, but that's okay. Okay, now that I have everything hooked up, I can test my plug-in. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn my parking lights on, and I'm going to probe, I think, this brown wire, make sure my parking light works. Then I'm going to turn my right turn signal on, make sure this green wire has a turn signal pulse. I'm going to turn my left turn signal on, make sure that uh, I have a turn signal pulse on there and then I'll check my brake lights okay when I looked at my junction box my brown's going to be my tail my yellow's going to be my left turn my green's going to be my right turn and then my brake lights are going to be yellow and green so let me go ahead and test it okay I got the car turned on because I got to have the car on at least accessory to get power back here I got my ground set I'm getting ready to probe into this parking light hole and when I look at my meter I do have registration for my parking lights so let me go ahead and check my right and left turn signal as you can see I have turn signal with my yellow prong that's the left when I hit the right one I don't have nothing 
So I'm gonna go up and switch it to the right side. I have it plugged in the green for the right side. And now as you can see, I have right side. So my left, my right, and my parking's working. Now I'm gonna put uh, the brakes on. As you can see, my brake light's on. Now I should have uh, power to the green and the yellow on my pigtail. I don't have power to my yellow or my green on my brake lights, so I must not have a good splice in that connection because when I put my wire there on that piece of metal, I don't have any power there as well. So let me splice that and get this going. Well, turns out I was on the wrong wire. I was on the yellow gray instead of the yellow purple. So now when I probe my yellow and my green, I get 12 volts on both of them, which is the function of the uh, brake light. So that's the green and that's the yellow right there. So there you have it. If you have any questions, go ahead and post it. Uh, the first harness that I got, I got from Walmart. It was a piggyback harness, did not have a power supply, so I chose not to use it. You want to use a harness uh, controller that has its own dedicated power. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.